Gooden. Gooden. Real Gooden. So this fishing trip started out early in the morning uh, where my buddy Brent and I decided to go hit the local spillway to try to pick up some uh, catfish or smallmouth bass. Uh, but as you can see in this background footage, nothing much really happened. So we decided to go to the main lake to try to target some more bass in these thick lily pads. And once we got to the pads, I made a cast and this happened right here. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, as of now, that's the biggest fish of the day. And well, after this little bass, I decided to cast around a little more and eventually I picked up on another solid bass, uh, but nothing compared to what I would catch later in this video. Oh yeah. Better fish. Pound and a half, maybe. Here we go, fish number two of the day for the artificial lures, about pound and a half, large mouth. See you later, buddy, thanks for biting. Up he goes. Just yeah. as we were about to head home, I decided to make a few more casts in these open pools in front of me, and well, that's where the highlight oh, of this video in comes in. And as you can see, I was pretty excited when I hooked into this thing. Oh yeah. Gooden. Gooden. Real Gooden. Real Gooden. Come on. Come on, baby. Holy sh I think it's a snake. Yep, it's a snake. Snake head. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, um, yeah. Perfect. It's a good day on the water when you're just walking your snakehead here. No biggie. As you guys just saw, we caught this nice three-ish pound snakehead. We'll get an official weight for y'all right here, uh, but it's actually illegal to release these back into the wild, hence they are very invasive and can cause a lot of damage to the ecosystem. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and kill him, fry him up, and see how he tastes. For those of you who don't know, the northern snakehead is a species of snakehead fish native to temperate East Asia, China, Russia, North Korea, and South Korea. Uh, they unfortunately have invaded into the United States and are extremely aggressive predatory fish uh, that can grow up to 21 pounds. If caught, many fish and boat commissions require or highly advise that you report your catch and dispatch the animal as quickly as possible. Due to its partial aerial respiration, this species can survive out of water for up to several days, which allows it to wriggle to other bodies of water and avoid being transported by humans. So we are here back at the home base and we're gonna fillet up this snakehead and then throw him on the old smoker and give it a nice taste test. A little bit of that cayenne pepper. Got some of that black pepper. And last but not least, a little uh, salt out of this here uh, John Deere barn. One little filet on the smoker. Filet number two on the smoker. And a little finger food uh, test subject here on the smoker.
coming along very nicely. Top piece might be done pretty soon, but we're gonna give it a little more and see how it goes. So the snake head is completely done now. Uh, time for a taste test, I guess. Without further ado, here we go. Here we go, first ever piece of snake head. Uh, let's give it a shot. No fishy flavor whatsoever. Seasonings complemented perfectly. Nice flaky, very light, very light fish. Uh, overall, honestly, one of the best fish I've ever tasted. So that's just personal. Me, Brent, what do you think? I think it's one of the best I've had as well. It's really good. Would definitely recommend eating snakehead, 10 out of 10. Plus they're invasive, so no harm, no foul. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, catch and cook video. If you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below what next catch and cook we should do. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, hopefully go subscribe to my buddy BD Outdoors, my friend Brent. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. No, he got off. Snake. It was a snake. Yeah.